Hey, what's up YouTube? This is Lawman FJ. Gonna take a quick look at a few more features that came with the Samsung Beta 3.01 UI update, all right? Now I got only X, uh, the Galaxy S20 Ultra, and we're gonna compare that to One UI 2.5 so you can see what the differences are, okay? Let's go ahead and get started. Okay, one of the first things you'll notice that changed is the volume rocker uh, settings when you squeeze the volume rocker. So if I push up on the volume rocker, you see this is 2.5, you got the, the volume bar up there. On 3.0, it's on the side like the pixel, all right? So let's pull this to the side here. And then you click on the uh, settings button right here and you get the 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 uh, actual additional functions right there in that faded kind of um, dark gray looking uh, background right there okay now in 2.5 when you push that up you click on the additional settings and you get this settings right here which you can see a lot clearer but it's actual horizontal uh, instead of vertical okay so that's a difference there all right okay the next difference is in the task changer uh, so let's get to the task changer right here now this is 2.5 this is 3.0 now what you'll see is this slide side to side with no other transition modification made to it if you look at this one it's almost like a carousel you see that it's a little different than this one right here as you can see all right so uh, that's a pretty subtle but cool feature there that kind of carousel look on this task changer versus the straight side to side on this 2.5 this is 2.5 this is 3.0 all right, that's the new look right there in the task changer in 3.0. Now the next uh, change I saw is in the settings app. All right, let's go into settings. All right, now in settings, you notice that when you go to, uh, you go to the app section, when you try to get to default apps, you had to go to this this three bar up here to get to the three default apps menu. In uh, 3.0, the default apps is right there sitting in front of you, okay? Which you don't have to try to go into that menu to get it. So you can just tap right here and get to your default app. So I like that, that's an improvement there. Uh, Cause you wouldn't, you wouldn't even notice that on this screen if you didn't look for it in uh, this section right here. All right, so they made it easy to find that. So that's pretty cool. You can see the differences there. 2.5, 3.0, okay? Much improved. Okay, one more feature uh, that you'll notice is when you go into notifications and you click on the tab at the very bottom, you might let me pull this up so you can see it a little closer. You see, now this one is a little more faded. Uh, I hope they change that to make it more visible like this one right here. But if you go into additional settings, you'll see a little difference there, all right? So you see, this is 3.0, this is 2.5. 2.5, you got your traditional settings there, but in 3.0, you can do brief or detailed pop-up. So when that little pop-up comes up here, it can be very brief, or you can have it show the full details right there, all right? And where you get the functions and all that stuff. So that's pretty cool. And then you have uh, a similar type uh, menu at the bottom, okay? So that's a difference there that I think is an improvement, all right? And uh, 2.5 right here, and then this is 3.0 right here, right? 3.0 is think is better, it's an improvement. Uh, the features are just more functional, okay? All right, so that was a quick look at a few more features in the Samsung One UI 3.0 beta update, all right? Now, as I continue to learn more about this uh, UI improvement, I'll go ahead and, and share some videos with you to let you know what those new improvements are, all right? Now, if you got any questions, hit me up in the comments. If you like the video, give me a thumbs up. And don't forget to hit the subscribe button down below for more videos like this. This is Lawman FJ.